Hi there, this is VIPS TV. My name is Mary. Today we are going to study about jobs. There are 12 words about jobs that I want to introduce today. The first one, student. Student is the person who study in their school, in the colleges or in university classes. So we have student. Remember, st. don't say student or student, okay? That is student, student, student. Number two, nurse. Nurse is the person who takes care of the ill or injured people in the hospital. So we say nurse, nurse. Number three, doctor. Doctor is the person who checks people's health and treat the illness or disease. Doctor, doctor. Number four, dentist. Dentist is the person who take, takes care or treats some everything about people's teeth. Okay, so we say dentist. Remember, st, dentist. Number five, veterinarian. Veterinarian. Veterinarian, or in short form, we can say vet. Vet is the doctor of animals. That means the person who takes care and treat animals ill, the Ill, illness or disease. Okay, so we say veterinarian or vet. Vet. Very quick, right? Number six. Engineer. Engineer is the person who design or or design things like buildings or bridges or roads or engines, something like that. Engineer. 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 Okay. Baker. Baker is the person who make and sell things like bread or cakes. So we say baker, baker. Number eight, butcher, butcher. Don't say butcher, okay? This is butcher, butcher. Short O, butcher. Butcher is the person who cut and sell meat. Butcher, butcher. Number nine, chef or cook. Cook is the person who cook who uh, who cooks food and chef is the professional cooks usually the chef is the cook professional cooks in the uh, restaurant or the hotels so we say chef chef this one cook cook remember don't say this chef chef okay this is sh chef chef Number 10, construction worker. Construction worker is the, the people who build the houses or, or roads, okay? Construction, remember, str, struck. Construction worker. Teacher. Teacher, that means the, the person who teach you, uh, teachers, who teaches you any subjects, English, math, physics, chemistry, literature, okay? Teacher. Uh, usually works in the school. Uh, instructor, instructor also the same with uh, with teacher instructor. That means instruct you, help you to do uh, the things correctly. A uh, coach, usually coach. Um, if uh, in sports, in sports, your teacher in sports is your coach. I. In sports, we don't use teacher. We just use coach. Okay, so the same. Teacher, teacher, instructor, remember, instruct, instructor, coach, coach, remember, ch, ch. And number 12, hairdresser, hairdresser or barber. Hairdresser is the person who cut or wash and then shape your hair, okay? Hairdresser, remember, dresser. Hairdresser and barber. Barber is the person who cuts men's hair, just men's hair, okay? And hairdresser, anybody? So, hairdresser, this is barber. Okay, so again, student, 
student, nurse, nurse, doctor, doctor, dentist, dentist, veterinarian, veterinarian or vet, engineer, engineer, baker, baker, butcher, butcher, chef, chef, cook, cook, construction worker, construction worker, teacher, teacher, instructor, instructor, coach, coach, hairdresser, hair, hairdresser, barber, barber. Now let's go to some questions and answer. What's your job? That means I want to know what jobs you do. Okay, what's your job? I'm a, I'm a student. I'm a student. Or instead of asking what's your job, you can ask what do you do? What do you do? Or what do you do for a living? The same, for a living. What do you do? Or what do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher. Remember, before a job, we need to add a or an, okay? Before a consonant, we add a. And before a vowel letter, we add an. And am linked together, am, am, okay? So, I'm a student. I'm a student, and this one, I'm an, I'm an English teacher. I'm an English teacher. But if I don't use English, I just say, I'm teacher. I have to say, I'm a teacher. Okay, I'm a teacher. But if I add English in front of the word teacher, I have to say, I'm an, I'm an English teacher. You can say an or an the same, huh? Uh, so we have three ways to ask about job. What's your job? Or what do you do? Or what do you do for a living? Okay? Number three, what's your father's job? You can change here. What's your husband's job? What's your mom's job? What's your father? Remember the. What's your father's job? Remember S here, okay? That means that the job of your father. What's your father's job? What was here that means what is and here that means the job of your father, okay? Um, or you can say what does your father do? I think the second one is easier. Uh, for the first one, you have to remember two S here. What's your father's job? And this one, you just say what does your father do? Much easier, right? Or you can say what does your father do for a living? He... He's a, remember this is z, and he's a construction worker. He's a construction worker. Number four, are you a chef? Are you a chef? Like, uh, I don't know what what job you do, and then I just want to ask, do you want to check, like, am I correct? Like, you're a chef, right? Okay, are you a chef? If that is true, say, yes, that's right. Or, no, I'm an, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. Is your sister a nurse? Is your brother? Is your mom? Is your boyfriend? Is your girlfriend? Is your, is your sister a nurse? Yes, she is. Or you can say, yes, that's right. No, she's a vet. No, she's a vet. So again, what's your job? What's your job? I'm a student. I'm a student. What do you do? Or what do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher. I'm an English teacher. Number three, what's your father's job? What's your father's job? Or what does your father do? What does your father do? And then you say, he's a, he's a construction worker. He's a construction worker. Number four, are you a chef? Are you a chef? Yes. That's right. Or, no, I'm an engineer. I'm an, I'm an engineer. 
Is your sister a nurse? Is your sister a nurse? Remember, sis. Sister. Yes, she is. No, she's a chef. No, she's a chef. Oh, sorry. No, she's a vet. Sorry, I say the word chef. So, no, she's a vet. Okay. So that's all for today. Thanks. Goodbye.